king of the zombies. Let's do this. Hi, it's me again. So, the movie that I watched tonight was called King of Zombies. I wanted, the next movie on the thing was something, like on the list of movies was something that I've already seen on MST3K, Mystery Science Theater 3000, which I'm a big fan of, but I wanted to see something that I haven't seen before. So uh, I looked in the next list of CDs and I found King of the Zombies from 1941, starring who the fuck knows and who the fuck cares anymore. They're all dead. So, let's get started. Starts off with three dudes in a plane. And it looks like they're in a storm. Three dudes consist of uh, two, two white guys in the front. And um, so this is 1941. There's the black guy in the back. And honestly, the black guy is the best part of the movie. <laughs> he had the best one-liners throughout the movie. And since it was 1941, uh, a lot of shit went down that didn't age very well. But, hmm. Still, you know, the movie rolls on. So there's three, three dudes in the plane and they're uh, talking to somebody on the radio. And uh, they're like, oh, um, we're gonna find a place to land. And uh, the guy's like, I think I can land this plane here. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess I gotta tell you guys the name. So um, from what I know, from just listening through the movie, because when they first say their, their names, I'm just kind of like, whatever. But there's uh, Jefferson is the black guy. And the two white guys just, going by the names that I keep hearing in the movie, um, Mr. Bill and Mr. Mac. And apparently from um, their introductions, Mr. Bill is uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jefferson's, um, what the hell did he say? He didn't say, he didn't say like servant or anything like that. What the fuck? Oh, he said Valor, whatever the fuck a Valor is. So, mm. I guess it's a nicer word than what he could have said, I guess. But anywho, these guys are in the plane and okay, I find, I found a place I, um, I think I can land here. <laughs> and Jefferson's like, you think you, you think you can land here? What? <laughs> and they're just like, and then they make like the most gentlest crash I've ever seen in movie history. And they're just like, uh, and then it fades to black and the next scene Jefferson is like waking up and he's on top of a grave uh, and he's kind of confused <laughs> and he's like oh no you know uh, uh, it was like rest in peace or whatever and he was like if these people if these people rest in peace uh, They don't waste any time and he gets up. He's like freaked out because he thinks he died And so he runs around he sees mr. One of the guys. I think it's mr. Bill And he goes <laughs> He's like are we dead? <laughs> the guy is like no, no, we're not dead <laughs> And the uh, mr. Bill's like there ain't no thing as a ghost and then uh, Jefferson goes, uh, I knew I was a little off color to be a ghost. I don't know. I mean, I know it's like coming from this day and age, it's, it's so freaking racist. But Jefferson reminded me of, um, because of his mannerisms and his one-liners and his like kind of bulgy eyes, he reminded me of a black Rodney Dangerfield. And uh, I think... I loved him for that. They start to hear a noise. It's like a drumming noise. And so they start following it. And um, <laughs> it leads them to this house. And uh, 
this butler answers. And uh, he's uh, kind of like the you ring kind of butler. But he is some type of, I think he's like supposed to be like a native of this, I don't know if it's like a village or whatever they landed on. <laughs> and so he, the butler brings him inside brings them inside and it's like this huge, it's like a mansion, like a creepy mansion. And um, the doctor, doctor, whatever, I'm just gonna call him doctor, the name, I don't know, whatever the fuck he said. Doctor, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Anyway, he brings them in and he's talking to them and he's telling them all about the stuff, da 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 da. And then he's like, Oh, do you guys want some brandy? And uh, so the guy brings them like three glasses, and I'm like, "Well, it's 1941. Are they gonna give? Are they gonna give Jefferson some brandy?" And I was like, "Oh my god!" He starts pouring the glasses, and he pours three, and um, the doctor starts handing them out. And like one, one for Mr. Bill, one for Mr. Mac. Are they gonna be progressive and actually give him? But no. Nope, the fucking doctor slaps Jefferson's hand like a fucking kid in a cookie jar. That fucking boiled my beans. <laughs> yeah, that, I, poor, poor Jefferson. I didn't like that one bit. He needed some brandy. After what he went through, yeah. Waking up on a fucking grave, yeah, he needed some brandy. doctor something or other takes him to their places to sleep and he's like okay here's a nice room for mr bill nice room for mr mac and jefferson's like oh where, where am i gonna sleep and he goes oh you're gonna follow mm, fucking the butler whatever his name is and um he's gonna show you where the servants sleep and he mr uh, jefferson's like Oh, hell no, I'm not following this guy. Is that safe? Am I going to be okay? And Mr. Bill and Mr. Mac are just like, go, go, go with them. It'll be fine. And so he goes with them and he goes down into the um, servant's kind of like a lamp, like a kitchen. It's, it's like the servant's uh, kitchen. And he meets, he meets some of the servants that are, that are there. So he meets this cute girl, cute, uh, servant girl named Samantha <laughs> and he's like looking around and he sees this old lady in this like fucking cauldron and she's she's stirring this cauldron and he goes who's Methuselah over there <laughs> uh, uh. anyway this old lady named I don't know what the fuck her name Zulu I don't I don't know I forgot her name it was she's the voodoo lady <laughs> Anyway, they bring, they, uh, after all this exposition talk, blah, 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 they bring him to his room and, um, and then, like, he, he's got these candles and they're all lined up and then the clock strikes midnight and, um, before that, Samantha had told him that midnight was, uh, the witching hour and he's like, what does that mean? And he's like, oh, well, that's when all the dead come down and walk around and whatnot. And um, so he's in his bed and he's got those candles and those the candles are like lined up and the um, the midnight chimes started going. And each time they go, each candle would uh, turn off. And his eyes are just like, what the fuck? And then he's laying there and he's trying to sleep, but he's like sleeping in his whole fucking suit. He's in, his, he's in his, like, jacket and his whole servant suit garb. Whatever. Anyway, he's got his blanket on. And then <laughs> the fucking zombies come in. And they're these huge guys. They look like, like football linebackers. And they try grabbing him because they're, they're zombies. And they're just like, Wah. And then one misses him. Wah. The other guy misses him. And then Jefferson like like nopes the fuck out of there. He's like, nope. And he runs into um, his master's room. And he's like, ah, you know, there's zombies after me. 
Hey, Mel. And they're like, uh, what's going on, Jefferson? Blah. And then the doctor comes in. And he tries to get Jefferson to go back down. Like, oh, we'll find a place for you. But, ah, yeah, Mr. Mac and Mr. Bill are nice enough to be all like, yeah, you can sleep here with us. That's fine. <laughs> Look at Mr. Mac and Mr. Bill sleeping in the same bed. It's really cute. Yeah. And then uh, Jefferson's in this fucking chair next, like, in the same room as them. But he's in a chair. Whatever. God, this movie's insane. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a scene where <laughs> when they were taking Jefferson down uh, to meet the other servant. And he's with the uh, he's with the zombie butler. <laughs> they're going down. They're going down these really dark stairs. And uh, <laughs> Jefferson goes. He goes. If it was in me, I sure would be pale now. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm sorry. It was funny at the time. <laughs> this poor guy. Uh... So when. When Jefferson goes and tells his masters about the zombies, his masters are like, what's a zombie? I mean, I know it's 1941. This is from, this is way before fucking George Romero and all that. But really, did they not have a word for that back then? Hmm. I don't know. So when, when Jeff, Jefferson ran away from the zombies that were trying to get him into his bedroom and he goes into his master's bedroom, bedroom and they're like uh jefferson why are you here <laughs> and he's like i'm a fugitive from the undertaker so bert and ernie and jefferson are sleeping and this creepy ass bitch walks in and she comes in super slowly but jefferson is the first one to notice and he's like what the fuck And the lady goes out and tries to sensually caress one of the guys. He stirs. She moves back. Jefferson's like, oh, hell no. Nah. She turns around. And she slowly fucks off. And Jefferson gets up. And he's like, hey. And he notices she left something behind and some type of a trinket. He's like, oh my God, it's a clue. So the fucking Scooby Squad gets up to have a look-see. Okay. So Jefferson and the two white guys are running around the castle with a bunch of candles. And they're running from the zombies. And then, I forgot to mention this earlier, but that doctor, his wife, is a zombie. So basically, basically, the doctor's wife is a zombie. And she's walking around. She's not dead or anything. She just like has this blank look and she doesn't say anything. And then the, his niece, Barb, anyway, his niece Barb is, um... She goes into the library and Dr. Mack, I believe, finds her in the library and sees the book that she grabbed from the library and it had something about hypnosis. So apparently the doctor's wife is in a um, hypnotic state and the niece Barb wants to get him, get her out of it. They're running around trying to run away from the zombies and they get caught and Jefferson gets the doctor with the little doo -doo 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 -doo. and Jefferson is just like just going along with it. <laughs> they, they do that for a while and then uh, the doctor starts telling him you are a zombie. You are a zombie. And he's just chanting this. You are a zombie. You are a zombie. <laughs> and then those zombies that were like 
chasing him earlier, those two fucking linebacker dudes, they're like standing there in front of him and Jefferson says after the whole, you are a zombie. <laughs> and so he starts walking towards them after, after the hypnotism. After the hypnotism. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he goes, <laughs> he, saw, he goes like um, move over boys I'm one of the gang now and he goes and stands in between them uh, the doctor starts telling Bill because uh, when they caught they caught Mr. Mac and they hypnotized Mr. Mac and the doctor's telling Mr. Bill that um so what your friend has is a rare form of jungle fever. I'm not even going to touch on that. That That is just <laughs> way too much for me. Is that cure for a zombie? The, this is what Mr. Bill and Mr. When they finally got Mr. Mac, Mr. Bill and Mr. Uh, and Jefferson, they're like, oh, uh, some, some brandy? Let's try some brandy. Yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> They're like, so why did this happen to Mr. Mac? Well, because he was basically snooping. I don't know what their word for it was. I just said snooping because I, th I thought it made more sense to me. Because it was looking around in situations that were none of his business. <laughs> Jefferson, he's a zombie. He's a zombie now. He goes back down into the kitchen where Samantha was. Samantha and uh, <laughs> Methuselah, and he's like, he's in. He is basically the ringleader of this um, band of marching zombies. So it was the zombies that were you know, running after him and a couple other more. I don't, I've never seen them before, but he was in the, he's in the front and they're just like, you know, <laughs> just being zombies. And Samantha has like all this food for them. She's got like dinner ready. She's like, dinner's ready. And then, uh, Jefferson's in the front and Jefferson is going to be the first to get served the food. <laughs> and then, <laughs> And then Samantha's like, what are you doing? Why are you here? And Jefferson's like, he's like, uh, I'm a zombie. And uh, I want the privilege that I'm going to get fed. And Samantha goes, <laughs> Je Samantha goes, that ain't no new development. <laughs> he starts eating the food and he's like, bleh. I'm... Can I get some salt? And she's like, zombies don't need no salt. And he's like, okay. And then she comes and starts <laughs> pouring some salt on his food. And he's like, what? And she's like, shh. And she keeps pouring it. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Then he goes, <laughs> take it easy. I can't. Take it easy there, woman. I ain't no herring. <laughs> I swear, like, this guy made the movie so watchable. He was awesome. I loved him. <laughs> Samantha tells him that um, she knows that he's not a zombie. And he's like, what? I'm not a zombie? She's like, no. And he's like, how do you know? And she said, well, if a zombie has salt, he shrivels up and dies again which is something I've never heard before so uh that's uh something new I don't know maybe that was common knowledge back in the 40s I don't know I know slugs dry up <laughs> they have salt on them I don't know then and then she says and zombies because she shows him a mirror and he's like oh yeah I look so good He's like, zombies can't see themselves in a mirror. 
Really? I've never heard that about zombies. I've heard that about vampires. So he's de-zombified. Start following the drums and they go to this huge like ceremony and it's all the natives of that whatever thing they that island or whatever region that they crashed in and so there's a bunch of these um natives and there's uh methuselah's there and <laughs> she she's saying all these words like blah, 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 and trying to um zombify some guy and um I, I will come back to this later but this guy uh this is the first time he is seen in this in this movie. Somehow, Mr. Bill uh, got, gets the zombies to turn against the doctor. And Mr. Mac is in the front. And so Mr. Mac starts like, you know, oh, I just saw that weird light. Anyway, Mr. Mac starts going towards uh, the doctor and the doctor is just like backing up like whoa 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 and mr mac is going forward just like like a zombie you know mm. and so um he kind of makes miss uh the doctor fall into this big fiery pit and that kind of lifts all of the zombie curses and they find out that one of the guys that they were trying to hypnotize worked for uh i don't know like the army or something and so the next scene is them calling the army and having you know they're all saved Woo. <laughs> and so <laughs> the last line of the movie of course it had to be jefferson he goes if there's one thing i don't want to be twice zombies is both of them <laughs> Oh God, this movie was something else. I enjoyed the humor in it. Uh, nothing was nothing was scary. Uh, the racism was very, very prevalent, and it really showed, you know, that the. the the way things were in that timeline and it, especially in cinema especially with you know people of color eh, I mean sometimes it was a little hard little hard to to watch but the one-liners and the humor made up for it <clears throat> but so that was <laughs> that was king of the zombies and you know, I still enjoyed most of it. <laughs> the movie was still watchable. Yeah, that was my movie of tonight. And I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have a good night. Bye.